Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna start working on a new proximity and ambient light sensor that is VCNL4010. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor and to know more about this sensor, what it is, let's have a look over the website we are referring, that's webcontroleverything.com and here we have to search for the required sensor that is VCNL4010. So we have, it's a proximity and ambient light sensor with infrared Amateur and you can see some of its features and you can also purchase it from here as you see For this section I will be interfacing the sensor VCNL4010 with the Raspberry Pi and with a Python code To get the Python code this is a resource tab and here comes the Python code sample Now you can have the Python code sample as a zip file from this very site from here Now you can have the code from github.com also and the repository there is control everything community now what we require is to collect some hardware so that we can set up some connections for the working and the interfacing. Let's have it. Now in the hardware requirements, first of all the requirement is of our sensor that is proximity and ambient light sensor VCNL4010. And this here is our Raspberry Pi. As you can see these are the GPR pins of the Pi. Now the next thing we require is an I2C sheet. The reason I am mentioning this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices and that job should be a lot easier. So gently place the I2C shield over the GPR pins or the Raspberry Pi and make a connection. Now this here is a connecting cable. This is the binding factor to make a connection among the sensor and the shield and a rule has to be applied that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the brown wire of the cable and similarly for the I2C shield also. Now we need to power up our Raspberry Pi and here we need a micro USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack. The last part is to make an internet connection and for that we have two ways. The first way is an ethernet cable or a LAN cable in common language. Now gently put it over the ethernet jack. Next if we don't have the first part we can go for a wireless nano USB adapter. Now this is very useful sometimes. So we are done with the hardware connections. Now what we require is our code so that we can have an interfacing and the working of this sensor. Now for the interfacing of the Python code and the Raspberry Pi and the sensor VCN4010, we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. And here we go. Now here this is the required sensor we are looking forward and this is the Python code we would like to explore. But let's have a look over the instructions first. We have to download and install SMBus library on the Raspberry Pi. And this link will help us to install SMBus on the Raspberry Pi. Please note in all the relevant information as you can see example, dependencies, relevant commands, installation process. Note it down. Now this is the command to run the Python code. Get it on the note. Now this is the Python code we are looking forward as you can see it's .py extension file. The first thing you get on the code is to import SMBus and time libraries along with the bus as you can see it's a revision number. Now we have the address of the sensor that is UX13 and we are writing part and in the writing part we have select command register having address UX80 and 0x FF comprises of the command to enable ALS and proximity measurement LP oscillator and the writing command is here. Now we have to select proximity ray register having address 0x82 and we are sending 1.95 proximity measurements per second and the command goes to 0x00. This here. The last command to on the writing section is to select ambient light register having address 0x84 and 0x90 comprises of continuous conversion mode ELS rate 2 samples per second and the writing command is here. So we are done with the writing section. Now we want to read data back from the register having address 0x85. 4 bytes we are reading back. It's luminance and proximity data and we are converting the data for the luminosity, uh, luminance and proximity according to the data sheet. The formula is there in VCNL4010 light and proximity sensor. At the very end of our code we have the output data on the screen as you can see ambient light luminance uh, unit is lux and proximity of the device. So this is the code we are looking forward to work with. So let's have it. The working. In the working environment of the code first of all we have to copy the entire python code as you can see on my screen 
and open up the terminal via internet for the Raspberry Pi. Here we have to create a new file of vcnn as you can see .py extension is the file for the python and here we go um, there's a correction yeah that's correct now here paste the entire code and save it now this is the command to run the code as you can see on my screen and here we go and we have the ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device and it's almost stable as there is no interference regarding the intensity now when I place some object over the sensor you can see there is a decrease in ambient light luminance and there is a change in proximity of the device now when I bring closer the object near to the sensor the ambient light luminance almost diminishes and proximity of the light uh, device increases as you can see it's increasing again now instead of that when I bring closure or uh, light source you can see there is an increase in ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device changes now again and here is the response of the light source for the sensor yeah that's correct now this is how the sensor 4010 VCN 4010 works and responds for a python code along with the Raspberry Pi now let's have a look over the applications the benefits and the features for the sensor the VCNL 4010 is a fully integrated proximity and ambient light sensor. Fully integrated means that the infrared emitter is included in the package. It has 16-bit resolution. It includes a signal processing IC and features standard I2C communication interface. It features an interrupt function. Due to these features, it's applicable for a lot of applications such as proximity sensor for mobile devices, example, smartphones, touch phones, PDA, GPS for touch screen locking, power saving, etc. Integrated ambient light function for display, keypad, control, contrast and dimming of mobile devices. Proximity optical switches for consumer computing and industrial devices and displays and a lot many. Now you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com as you can see and you can have the code from the resource tab after that you can download it as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end i would just like to make it clear that in case if you have any further queries you can reach us on control everything.com and be sure to post your comments on the community page for blogs articles which are relevant to this sensor this video you can have a look over instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this go to our youtube channel in the end again uh, i wish uh, you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself thanks a lot for watching